it's Jessica. Welcome to the Mommy Archives. It has been heating up here in Texas and one of my favorite cold drinks to have as the temperatures warm up is iced coffee. I love my iced coffee. It is so good and so today I wanted to share with you all how I like to prepare iced coffee at home. It's a lot cheaper than running out to Starbucks or when Dunkin Donuts or wherever and purchasing an iced coffee. You can make it right in your own home and it's really simple to make. Now when I make my iced coffee, I like to brew my coffee in a French press. The one I'm showing on the screen now is by French Press Coffee. Dot com. They have several different French presses to choose from and accessories. And besides just liking the taste of French press coffee, because I find that the best cups of coffee come from a French press, you get, you know, the freshly ground beans and that delicious aroma. Everything about it is just like super fresh. But you're also making a greener choice because you're not having to plug a unit in and leaving it plugged in all day. You're not wasting K-cups or, you know, coffee filters and things like that. It is the greenest way you can reuse all the materials <laughs> over and over and over again. And like I said, it just makes the best cup of coffee. And so you can cold brew overnight, but I'm going to show you guys how to just use a French press to make hot coffee for yourself in the morning. And then I like to take the leftovers, refrigerate them and use them to make my iced coffee in the afternoon. So I'm kind of getting my hot coffee to start my morning and my iced coffee in the afternoon when it's really warmed up. So let's go ahead and get into the footage. So to make iced coffee with a French press, you'll obviously need a French press and you'll also need some coffee. I like to buy whole bean coffee and grind it myself for the freshest cup of coffee. And then you'll need a tablespoon scoop to measure your coffee beans, as well as a coffee grinder. You can use manual or electric. I have an electric grinder. And then you'll also need a wooden spoon to combine your coffee grounds with water. And you'll need something to heat up your water. I just use a traditional tea kettle. Now some people skip this first step because it's not 100% necessary, but for the best cup of coffee, preheat your French press with boiling water. It'll help to maintain a consistent temperature during the brewing process, and then put the kettle back on and heat up at the appropriate amount of water for the amount of coffee you're making, and measure out the amount of coffee you'll need. Now there is a little bit of an art to this, but typically you want about one heaping tablespoon per four ounces of fluid. And this little craft that I'm using is super nifty because it has watermarks on it for different fill lines with the corresponding amount of tablespoons that you should be using. So this is a really neat feature on my French press. Then once the water has come to a boil, we're actually going to turn it off and let it sit for about 30 to 45 seconds to reach the ideal temperature. And while it's doing that, this is what I like to grind my coffee beans right before I'm about to pour the water into it for the freshest cup yet again. And then I dump out the contents that were preheating the coffee press, pour in my coffee grinds, and then we can go ahead and pour in that water to the fill line. Once it's filled to the fill line, I give it a good stir with my wooden spoon. And then I place the lid on it and let it sit for four minutes to let the coffee work its magic. And after four minutes, I go ahead and use the plunger in the coffee press to press down those grinds. Then you have some beautiful coffee to enjoy. Doesn't that look delicious? Now it's time to pour my morning cup of coffee and enjoy it. And while I'm enjoying it, I like to let the remainder cool for a little bit. And then once it's cooled, I transfer it to a mason jar, put a lid on it, pop it in the fridge for later that afternoon. And then when I'm ready for my iced coffee, I simply take it out of the fridge, take the lid off, I add my favorite Natural Bliss creamer to it. Of course, you can add cream, sugar, whatever you like in your iced coffee. Then I add some ice cubes. Pop the lid back on. And now it's time to give it a good shake to incorporate everything together and let those ice cubes really cool the coffee down. Pop in a straw and you are ready to enjoy a delicious cup 
of iced coffee. There's seriously no better coffee than coffee made in a French press. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I like to make my iced coffee by using a French press. Again, mine is from frenchpresscoffee.com. I will leave them linked down below. And they were generous enough to offer a 10% discount code to my viewers, so that will be linked down below as well. And also, while supplies last, any purchase of a French press also gets you the free wooden mixing spoon, which is a good little bonus. Again, I really do believe that the best cups of coffee are made with a French press. It's just so delicious and so fresh. So if you haven't made the switch yet to a French press, hop on it. You will not regret it. Your coffee will be just amazing and explosive and wonderful. But if you guys enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the Mommy Archives and want to see more videos from me, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. And I also want to take a moment to thank FrenchPressCoffee.com for partnering with me on this video and generously extending that discount code to my viewers. But I hope you guys are having a great week. If you have any further questions about French presses or anything like that, I'll leave some resources down below. But other than that, I will see you guys next time. Bye!